Under the current exempted fishing permit, or EFP, issued through NOAA Fisheries, Louisiana anglers may harvest red snapper recreationally in federal waters during times and seasons set by the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Commission. In order to participate in the harvesting of red snapper during the designated seasons, Louisiana anglers must possess both a valid basic and saltwater recreational fishing license and a recreational offshore landing permit, also known as an ROLP. One benefit of the ROLP is the opportunity for Louisiana anglers to voluntarily report their catch electronically via either the ROLP website or the convenient ROLP mobile app. Voluntary use of electronic reporting will hopefully provide LDWF with a larger sample size than standard dockside and telephone sampling, improving the quality of recreational landings data utilized to make future management recommendations. Voluntarily reporting your catch will also help LDWF analyze the potential value of self-reported recreational angler information and its effectiveness as an additional data stream available to provide timely red snapper management advice and recommendations. In order to participate in voluntarily reporting your catch, log on to your ROLP account as you would under normal circumstances. If you do not have an ROLP account, please go to rolp.wlf.la.gov to register for one. As mentioned before, you can accomplish electronic reporting of your catch via the ROLP website and the ROLP mobile app. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will focus on use of the ROLP mobile app. The ROLP mobile app provides a fast and convenient method for reporting your catch. You can download the app through the Apple App Store or Google Play for Android devices. Anglers intending to report their catch must declare or register their upcoming trips prior to leaving the dock. To do this, select the drop-down menu in the top left corner and select Trip Reports. To register a new trip, select the red button at the bottom right. Only one member of the fishing party should declare a trip and then report to avoid duplication of reporting. This will take you to the Trip Reports portal, where you will add information about your upcoming trip. Your permit number should be present. If not, select the appropriate permit from the drop-down menu. You will then enter information such as the first and last day of your planned trip. You will then select if you intend to harvest red snapper during your trip. You will then enter the intended departure location and the registration number of the main fishing vessel you will be using or fishing from. After entering the required information, press the blue Save button. If you selected that you intend to harvest red snapper, you must reaffirm the EFP conditions before continuing. You will now be taken to the Trip Reports page that displays your open trip reports. From this section, the angler can either cancel the trip or enter catch information once the fishing trip is complete. To report your catch, select the trip from the Trip Reports page. Then select the blue Add Information button. Each day of your trip will be a separate entry. Select the day for which you wish to add catch information. Then select the green Edit Current Days Information button. You must confirm if you fished or not on this day. You will then add the number of anglers on the trip, including yourself. The vessel number and departure location you entered when declaring your trip will already be present. However, if these entries need to be changed, you can select them and make updates. If there are no changes, press the blue Save button. You will be taken to a basic summary for the trip. If you fish for red snapper on this day, you will select the box titled Red Snapper, even if you didn't catch any snapper on your trip. This will take you to the Species Report Portal. You will then enter information about your red snapper catch, including the number of fish kept, the number of undersized fish discarded, and the number of fish discarded for other reasons. If you fished for red snapper and did not catch any, please enter zeros for the above questions. Your fishing effort is an important piece of information for fisheries management. You will then indicate if you fished over an artificial reef, a natural bottom, or near a standing platform. 
You'll then enter which offshore fishing lease area you utilize through a handy drop-down list, as well as the approximate depth of water where you fished in feet. Once you have completed the entry, select the blue Save button. This will take you to the summary for this day. Please review the information for errors or omissions. If there are no changes, you are ready to sync your entry and submit the report. Select the drop-down menu at the top left and select Trip Reports. Select the trip you are submitting and then the blue Sync button. This will sync the information you've entered to your account and prepare the information for submission to LDWF. Once synced, you will now see a green Submit button. If there are no other changes, press Submit. After pressing the Submit button, you will receive a final prompt to confirm that you are ready to submit your report. If there are no further changes, press Yes, and your report will submit electronically. That's it. Your catch information will now be shared with LDWF staff, who along with dockside and telephone sampling, will hopefully be able to utilize this information as a tool to better serve our anglers enjoying the abundant resources of the sportsman's paradise. Thank you for your assistance and for your interest in the LDWF ROLP mobile app.